Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be looking at an AI website builder that builds a website for you called Durable. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So just before we get started with taking a look at the Durable website builder, what exactly is this platform? Durable is a platform that offers an AI powered website builder and as well as this, it does also offer a small business software. Now, it's designed to make it easier for entrepreneurs and small business owners to create and manage their online presence. So we'll list out some of the key aspects of Durable.co. Firstly is the AI website builder itself. Now, it does have rapid website creation. The AI powered website builder is designed to generate a functional website in just about 30 seconds. This is particularly a great advantage for users who need an online presence very quickly with minimal effort. Another thing with AI Website Builder is the automation. The AI aspect suggests that the platform can automatically make design decisions, potentially based on user inputs or preset templates, and that reduces the need for manual adjustments. Number two would be the business tools. Now with the marketing tools, Durable.co offers AI-driven marketing tools, which may include email marketing, social media management, and analytics. Now these tools are designed to help businesses reach their target audience more effectively. On top of this, there is invoicing. So the platform includes invoicing features, making it easier for businesses to build clients and manage financial trans transactions directly through the site. With the business tools, there is also a CRM. CRM meaning customer relationship management. So a built-in CRM system assists in managing customer interactions, tracking leads and customer inquiries, which is crucial for maintaining customer relations and business growth. For the third point, you also have the ease of use. So it is very user-friendly. So while being a user-friendly interface, that means it's aimed at non-technical users. Durable.co provides a straightforward, intuitive interface. This makes website building and management accessible to entrepreneurs and business owners without web development skills. You do also get the streamlined process. So the platform simplifies many of the typical comp complexities involved in website creation and as well as that digital marketing. And that makes it more approachable for any beginner. Now the fourth point point is the integrated functionality. It does have an all-in-one solution. So by combining website creation with business management tools, Durable.co positions itself as a comprehensive platform that covers various aspects of online business operations. It does also have seamless integration. Integrated nature of the tools ensures that users can handle multiple business functions, such as marketing, sales, and customer management, all in one place. Now for the fifth point is the customization. So you have editing and personalization. So although the AI builds the initial website, users presumably have the ability to customize and edit their sites to suit specific preferences or brand identities. You also have the flexibility of customization. So while it may not offer extensive customization capabilities of more advanced website builders, Durable.co provides sufficient flexibility for small businesses with standard website needs. And lastly, which is number six, is the pricing. So we'll take a look at the pricing plan or the pricing plans that they have in more detail, but they do offer various pricing options catering to different businesses' sizes and needs. Typically, it includes a free plan with basic features and paid plans offering more advanced capabilities. And as well as this with the pricing plan, there is scalability. So the pricing structure allows businesses to scale their use of the platform as they grow upgrading to a more comprehensive plan if need be. So now that we have more of an insight of what Durable is all about, we're going to go and hop onto the website builder itself and check out what it is. So here is Durable.co. You can see it's an AI that builds a website for you, states it in the front here, and just a quick overlook. Again, it's saying that it will build the website in seconds. So a bit of an insight onto how you, it could generate the website for you. So there's a couple of different examples on what websites have been built through here. And you do have a, 
assistant as well. So before we jump into building the website itself, what I want to take a look at is the pricing plan first, just to give you guys an idea on how much it will be. So you do have a free option here, as you can see. So one business, you get a subdomain, you get three pages, five CRM con contacts. So again, CRM meaning customer relationship management, but you don't have any invoicing. So that's a free plan, which is great to see anyway. So that gives you an opportunity to overview what the website builder has to give. Now you do have the starter, so that's $12. That's per month. That's billed yearly. So that's for solopreneurs and small businesses who want to grow their online presence and get customers. With this, you get one business, custom domain, you get 10 pages, 50 CRM contacts, priority email support, as well as 10 invoices. Now the one that's the most recommended is the business one, and that's $20 per month. And that is billed at a yearly contract, just to give you guys uh, an idea. Now these are, are for established business owners who want to efficiently grow their business with powerful AI tools. What you get with this is one business, you get a custom domain, you got 50 pages, 1000 CRM contacts, one-on-one -on -one onboarding and 100 invoices. Next one is Mogul or Mogul, and that's $80. It, this is for owners and operators who want to manage and manage multiple businesses within a single durable account. Now you do get five businesses. You got five custom domains, unlimited pages, unlimited CRM contacts, one-on-one -on -one onboarding and unlimited invoices as well. And that is again, $80 per month. And that's for the entire year. Now, if it was a monthly bill, it will be a little bit different. Free, of course, being free will stay at the same. However, the starter is $15 and that's compared to $12. And then the business is $25 and that's compared to $20. And then the mogul or mogul is $95 compared to $80, as you can see. If you want more of an insight on the different features that these plans have to offer, you could just select the uh, show all plan features and you could see and compare each one as so. So you've got your website there. Again, the domain type, free being a subdomain, starter being custom domain, business being custom domain, and the mogul or mogul is five custom domains. Then you could see the different users, one user, one user, three users, unlimited users. So that is pretty much what you would see on the website. Now it's great to see that there's a blog so three monthly blog articles, 10 monthly blog articles, unlimited monthly blog articles, and unlimited monthly blog articles again. Here we can see the customer relationship management, some of the differences that they have. So of course, free ha having limited to five contacts, and then you have 50 contacts, 1000 contacts, as well as one, the unlimited contacts. Now you also have the different area there uh, for more. So promotions, three promotions for free, 10 promotions there for starter. And for business, you've got unlimited promotion and same goes for the last one. And the last thing that we want really is the AI assistant, which is available for all of the plans. So that is pretty much the pricing plan for durable. So the last thing to do is to check out the overall website builder itself. So if we click on tools, you can see that we can open up the website generator. We also have a business name generator and a Google ad rater. So these are all AI based. We'll go ahead and sign in. So through the sign in stage, you can go ahead and sign in with Google or you can create a, an account with Durable itself. So this is the dashboard of Durable.co. Now you have everything that you need here from home, website, marketing, CRM and invoicing. So in order to build a website, all you would need to do is select the following. So we've made it to the very, very start. So this is when you are signing up. Um, I would recommend to just follow these steps instead of logging into a current account, which I did. So very, very simple. Go ahead and get started and it'll ask you a couple of questions. So what type of business are you building? So we'll just say that we're building a photography website, just like so. And then with that, you can actually ask for some suggestions. So say if you are stuck and you don't know what type of business you want to build, you can see some suggestions. 
So there's one there for auto detailing. And you could regenerate this as many times as you want, as you could see. Uh, mechanical contracting. There's web development, which we do. So a couple more. Software development, as you've seen there. Content writing, as you've seen there. So you could just keep regenerating this just to see which one suits you best. Or, of course, you could just go back and then type up what you need. So there's photography. We could do digital marketing. So we'll just say, we'll actually just say web development. Okay, like so. So select web de development. That's what we, ha we have. And then go ahead and click next. So now you can see here on the very top, we've moved on to the next section, which is the location. So where is your business located? Belfast, Northern Ireland. Okay, so we'll just say Belfast UK. Go ahead and click next. Then it'll ask, what is the name of your business? So you can see some suggestions if need be. So digital dream creators, web tech titans. So I'm assuming that these are some business names that haven't been claimed, which is good to see. That's what we want. Do some research first. Make sure that you research some of these keywords before actually going for some of these business names. You can't always trust it. So I would re recommend to just research it just to make sure that it hasn't been a title or business name that has been taken. So with us, of course, we are called Profile Tree. So I'm just going to write down Profile Tree for now. And then all you need to do is select Generate Website. That'll then pick out a couple of different areas the layout, the business logo, and so on. And this is pretty much what it's going to come up with. So it'll provide you different sections to the website. It'll write paragraphs as well. So all this in 30 seconds, as you can see. So here is the website. Now, you can see profile tree. We have our cool little logo there, along with our title. And on top of that, we have our social media on our top right. So that's what it's went ahead and given us. Uh, you can see if we scroll down, this is the sort of layout that it's given us. So we've got custom website design, e-commerce solutions, mobile app development, and so on, some of the projects. So what Durable is, is it's there to provide a very simple, basic website. However, it does work very well. If you're not happy with so some certain areas, you can regenerate it like so. So just by selecting regenerating, until you find the perfect type of yeah. section that you like. So you could just keep regenerating it for as many times as you want, as you can see, until you find the one that you like. So it says here, boost your presence and enhance your business with expert web development services from Profile Tree. You can choose to edit that if you need to, but of course you will have to sign up with Google. So we'll go ahead and log in just so I could showcase the rest of the website. So I've just went ahead and opened up the previous website that I had earlier on. So this is the profile tree one that I created a while back. However, it's very simple to, to edit. You can go ahead and click the edit tool here, and this is where you can change your heading. So if you want to maybe regenerate or change up the heading, you can go ahead and select regenerate. So this time it says, Boost your online presence with Profile Tree Digital Marketing Solutions. So you can keep regenerating that until you find something that you prefer. Now with the subtext, you can see that we can change that around as well. And we also have different options for the styling. So going for more of a brand color, I'm gonna go for a custom one here, just like so, the green color that we use. So that looks a little bit better. And then we'll just edit it out just to see if there's any more uh, site styles that we can change. So we've got extra large heading. We'll just make sure that it's large. And then with the subtext, we'll go for medium. And maybe extra large, actually. So something like that I like. Now with the image, we can go ahead and change that if we want to. So we can change it if we need to. We can also replace it just by searching up the Unsplash here. If we want to, we can change that to web development, just like so, and then search. And there's a couple of different options for web development. I'll just click this one. So that looks a little bit better. Color overlay. I want to reduce that a little bit. Maybe keep it at 45. 
And from the theme, so slide up, zoom in. We'll do zoom in. So let's see, we'll go slow, fast. So different animations that you can use. There's the slide up one. Uh, fade in. Okay, I kind of like the slide up, so we'll just do that one. But we'll do it so that it's slow. Uh, spacing. Medium spacing. Then we'll just do content. All right. There's a divider as well. We can change that and change it for this one instead. So multiple different options. I kind of like the look of that one. So we'll stick with it. We can add a border as well. So we'll just go for a white border. And the thickness, we'll keep it at one. So you have the option as well to have it dashed. And you can also combine the header as at the top. So that's a solid background. That's a blended background. So I am happy with the look of that. Now we can edit the header as well. So we can add buttons to link with different pages. So we can go for a page. We can select the page. Currently we have home. So we'll go ahead and save that. So you can see that it, it does say button, but you can't add multiple pages onto this if you need to. So currently we have home. So we have three pages for the free version. So we'll just create a couple of pages here. So we'll just say contact, sure. We'll add contact in. And then what we want to do next is we're going to have more of an about section as well. So we'll toss that in as well. We'll just wait for this to load create another page and let's see if we have an about and we'll go for the about. So we'll just wait for this to load. Just takes a little minute or two for it to fully load, but it is very fast. So we'll go back to the home and currently we have the button there. We're going to go ahead and remove that button. We don't need it now since we've got our two pages. We've got a contact and a about. And now that this is where we have the potential to change the overall website now. So the website style, go here, change to custom, then 33 BC 77. And I don't want to go for that brown. So it is just default, this color. It's trying to choose the best one for us, 33 BC 77. So that's more blended in. I'm happy enough with that. We can edit this out as well. We can add borders in, just like so. Again, we're going to go for something white with the thickness of one. I'm going to try to follow that blend throughout the entire site. And then we've got this content creation. Happy enough with how that looks. And we have that same brown background. So we're going to go ahead, regenerate the style a couple of times. Okay. We'll edit that footer. So same as header, we can do a custom one if we want to. Site style, we'll add a gradient, top to bottom, custom. This time we are gonna go for 33 BC 77. And then this one, we're gonna go ahead and blend it in. Thirty-three BC seventy-seven, and there you have it. So that that is pretty much a quick way to build a website. So we'll go ahead and edit the header. You can see that you can change the logo as well. So if you have your own logo, feel free to of course change that up. But let's see if we can try to find a tree instead of whatever it's uh, given us. So something that ties in well with our website. So I think this one would be perfect. Insert that tree. So there we have it. And that's the preview image. Okay. And then we can change this to something a little bit more nicer. So if I around, 
edit. I want to go and change the styling again. Okay. Content we have here. So site style, button style. We have style two, so that's style two, style one. We'll go for that. Now we can go for a round shape, which we will. And then we can go for an outline. So multiple different options there for the button styles. Nice and simple. And yeah, that is more or less it for the homepage. So you can see how quick it is to develop a homepage. Yes, it does take 30 seconds to build a website, but of course you need to do a couple of touch up to it. So you've got your contact here as well. So very simple contact form. And we want to add a contact form here because it is going to be a contact us, but we want to regenerate the entire section. Okay. Regenerate the style, content. Okay, so I'm more or less happy with that. We'll edit this now. Change the style, button style, custom. So solid. Yep, we'll do outline instead. And we'll do round. And then for the bottom here, we'll regenerate that again. So entire content. Okay, so that's more dark mode. Then we can add a, another section to the top. Then we could do maybe a image carousel of something that we do. This time we'll have the background color, 33 BC 77, just like so. Add another section in. This time we will, that is pretty much it. We'll, we'll just keep it nice and simple. We don't want to put too much to this one, but with the about, so that is that section completed. So that we have the contact now. And now what I want to do is change the about. So just go to about. And I want to go ahead and delete this section. But what I want to do is add a section. And so we've got the about us. That's what I want. Uh, this time we're going to add the team, team members lined up. Hopefully it doesn't put out the brown color. Nope. So we'll just change the entire section again. That's a little bit better. Okay. Again, we'll edit that, change the site style. That's the alignment. We've got the cover. We're going to go ahead and keep it covered. And we've got the white screen. What does landscape look like? That looks a lot better. And currently we don't have any rounded colors. We'll do a small rounded item. We'll go large on that as well. Now let's do portrait. See if we can do something a little bit better here. And then we'll just go for a medium. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then again, I'm going to go for a divider. So we'll stick with the one that we have. And then we'll go for a border. And then we'll go for a color white. Okay, and then we'll go to one. Just like so. And we'll have it zoom in. Just like that. Content. I can change this as well. So highly skilled digital marketer. So I can actually regenerate the content if I need to. You can see that it's American English at the minute, but I can't actually just change that if I need to. So I think that's a little bit too much in terms of content. So we'll just discard that. Happy enough with how that looks. Of course, feel free to add your own content. You can use ChatGPT or any form of AI to write the content for you. 
to make things a little bit faster. And so we have image name about, and we can actually add some links. So we can list an item. See, so we can add more team members if we need to. Actually just remove that link, we don't need it. And done, so there we have it. That's the section there. Now what we need to do is add another section. This time we're gonna do some Google reviews. And with the Google reviews, I'm going to go ahead and edit that so that it is the green color. So custom 33 BC 77, just like so reviews, regenerate the entire section content section. So of course you can add some reviews. So this is where you would connect your business. So see if we can connect it. So profile tree, let's see if we can connect this. Hopefully we can, if not, it's no biggie. So there we go. So we've got a couple of reviews there. So that's the reviews. Want to edit this first and then set the style custom. But this time I want to go for. So the accent is fine. I want to keep it zero, zero, zero. However, the hex code for this, I want to go for blue or green, sorry. And yeah, that looks good. Edit this first. Reviews, you could say our Google reviews, our reviews, six reviews, minimum rating of four stars, most recent as well, so highest rating as well, so like so, and then there's the site style, again you can add a border or a divider, we'll just add a border onto this. Again, of color white, but this time we want to lower it down to one. And then topping off the website, we can do an FAQ. And then that is the services that we offer. Again, add another section. Last one, which would be a contact form for our website. And a last one, let's see if we have anything else here. Maybe a location as well. Just like so. Okay, a little bit too big. Maybe we can change the entire section so it's a little bit skinnier. Just the style. Just like that. And then again with profile tree, but the same. Let's see if we can change this to color green. So we're not sticking with that color. So we can blend it all in. 33 BC 77. So this one, I'll move this down. And then this one, I'll change to color green. Custom 33 BC 77. And just like that, we now have a full website built. So what do we have with this website? We have a homepage, we've got an about us page as well as a contact page. So very simple and easy to create a website from Durable. 30 seconds to create a base for you and throughout the entire duration, took us about 25 minutes, 30 minutes to build a full website. Of course, you may have some other sort of designs that you wanna go for that you had in mind. So Feel free, of course, to elaborate more and use more of your creativeness to create this website. So you are a bit limited, I would say, because of what is given with the banner and the call to action, contact forms, and so on. The only way you can really change the look of it is regenerating or editing and choosing the site styles or the content and, and so on. So 
it is very limited. However, you can create a nice website through it. So I would 100% recommend to use durable.co, especially if you are a beginner. But guys, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, let us know in the comment section below. We'd like to know what you think. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.